Hi everyone, uh, today we will learn the WebGL 1.0. So, before studying the WebGL programming, uh, we should prepare our PC and software tools. So, for 20 minutes, we will prepare the, our software and hardware, and then we will learn briefly about OpenGLES 2.0 or WebGL 1.0 graphics pipeline. Development tool setup. Okay, to program uh, WebGL, so we need web browser. So any web browser is okay. So major web browser is supporting uh, WebGL 1.0. So for example, Microsoft Edge and Firefox, Chrome, Safari, Opera su uh, support the WebGL 1.0. We, we can check WebGL is supported or not so we can uh, check with can i use dot com so i'll show you some you can see that okay can i use dot com sharp picture is webgl then the internet explorer 11 support support the webgl 1.0 so eight edge edge web browser support and firefox chrome Okay, Safari, op Opera, iOS Safari, so Opera Mini is not supporting the WebGL. So Android browser, Opera Mobile, Chrome for Android, Firefox for Android. So most of uh, web browser is supporting supporting WebGL 1.0. Uh, there is another version of WebGL, so WebGL 2. So the WebGL 1.0 is so JavaScript binding of OpenGL is 2.0, and WebGL 2.0 is so matching OpenGL ES is OpenGL ES 3. Point something. So in case of WebGL 2, okay, so Internet Explorer, Internet Explorer does not support it. And AG browser, Firefox, Chrome, support does not support it. Opera support it. So Android browser and some, some browsers is supporting, but globally, there's 75% of uh, browser supporting OpenGL. OpenGL ES 3.0 WebGL 2. Okay, so so I will use the Edge and Chrome browser. So if you have a, a Edge browser or Chrome browser and Firefox browser, then it's okay. So it, it, it can be used for programming WebGL. Okay, sometimes we need a local web server for processing local file. For example image file for texture the processing the mechanism is different between between a uh, local file and the web server processing for example for example i'll show you example okay i have a file in 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 my example folder the this webgl code used the the image file png file the png file like this that's it that's my page and i try to open it in open local file in chrome browser then just a blue blue square is appears in web browser but it is not true uh, because the, i will open it with the, the edge browser then okay so image is attached on the cube so I, I if i rotate cube then image is rotate it is correct answer and i programmed it so so it means that so the processing local file is not allowed in chrome browser opera browser and firefox browser but edge can can access local the image file so if i want to use chrome browser then i should solve this problem the best way to solve this problem is install local web browser. It is much safer, and we can check by using the local local web browser. We can you can see the behavior of uh, the contents. There are a couple of ways to install a uh, web server in your computer. So, for example, if you install Visual Studio, Microsoft Visual Studio, then there is uh, some kind of a development tool for web. So in in the collection of in the collection of tools there is uh, some local web server so you can use that web server for testing 
WebGL recording. And another way is you can install Chrome, Chrome extension program to Chrome web server. Or you can install the, the mini web. Or there are so many local web server applications. You can install it and you can use it. Mongoose web server for free is public available free software, so we can use it. For example, the j just a simple e exe file, then I copy it into my local directory, then I will learn Mongoose free. Then, then, oh, something, something is appears in that, in that folder. So I think it is my desktop folder. So we can change in in corner. You can see the see the the monks icon in in co corner in here. So you can. I will ch I want to change it into the document root. So I will change it into here. So I copy it and then paste it. Okay, and save. Save settings, uh, and then we can list that uh, the the compu configuration file is stored. Then we can we can access again. So I will reload it. Then you can see that. So same local file does not uh, display the image, but the in case of web local web server access, then I can see the image. So it works same as web, same as web Microsoft Edge browser. Okay, so and another easy way to 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 use local web server is I will I will kill the Mongoose web server, and then another the easy way is to using. Okay, if you have a Python. If you if you installed the Python, then you can use Python local web server. So I changed the local directory in here, and then I execute Python with module http dot server. Then http server is running, so I can access it. For example, uh, local host and eight thousand port. Then it appears. Then if I if I access that the 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 they display the result or log file of access log file is so displayed on the console. Okay, that's very easy way and very convenient way. Uh, most of case of uh, sample program in WebGL tutorial it can be executed executed on a local file. Some case, for example, image file access, then we should execute on the, the local web server. It is much safer way. So if, if you are familiar with the Visual Studio or Eclipse, or, you can use it for programming JavaScript. It is very useful to debugging or checking the code. There are, there are so many advantages to using the Visual Studio Eclipse like uh, integrated development environment okay you can use it or uh, we can use web browser tool for debugging for example if you push the function key function to have key at the chrome browser or the edge browser then you can see the you can see the development tool okay i'll show you okay if I push F12, then you can see something. So there is uh, some kind of a console message, error message is appears. In we can see source code, and we can see the performance, and we can see that network load. Uh, that kind of thing is appears in 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 development environment. The Edge browser also has the the development tool. If I push F12, then you can sh you can see the the code, okay, and then you can see also the console, and there are so many things appears in in the development platform. You can use it, okay. 
And I hope if, if you are not familiar with JavaScript programming, please study at at there are so many good study materials in 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 the web. So I recommend you w3school.com slash js is uh, you, you can practice it the JavaScript programming. So if you finish that course tutorial co tutorial coursework then it is enough to programming WebGL in my the, the WebGL course. Okay, there are also good material for studying JavaScript is JavaScript.info. Okay, so and if you want to learn more about the debugging uh, tool in Chrome browser, then the, in this URL you can see the, the the Chrome browser debugging tools. Okay, now we are set up. The, the WebGL programming environment. And then we should, we must understand the WebGL pipeline to understand the WebGL programming. Okay, I will briefly explain the, the OpenGL ES 2.0 and WebGL 1.0 pipeline. Uh, this is a block diagram of OpenGL ES 2.0 pipeline. Uh, OpenGL 2.0 is foundation of WebGL 1.0. So, the OpenGL ES 2.0 pipeline is same as WebGL 1.0 pipeline. Okay. So, left part of this diagram, it means API. API is uh, executed in CPU. Okay. So, we we, we we make we will make the GL application and then with using the graphics API, the OpenGL ES or WebGL, then we ex every time we execute a GL API, then then the the API will send data to Vertex Buffer or send the program to Vertex Shader, send the program to Pragmon Shader send the texture image to texture buffer so and then and then after sending data and setting the uh, setting the status variable of gl pipeline and then we execute gl draw command then the in this area the right side of uh, most of the right side of graphics pipeline is executed on gpu Okay, graphic processing unit. So, when we execute the GL draw command, the, they start with the they use use vertex buffer data as an input of vertex shader, and then and then vertex shader decide the coordinate or some other attributes of vertex vertex, and then. It is sent it into primitive assembly, and then it is sent into rasterization process. Rasterization process is making from from the vector data, for example, triangle data, it make the bitmap data. So, rasterization is changing vector graphics data into bitmap data, and then it send it into fragment shader. Pragma shader is kind of a, pr a program that execute execute on each fragment. For example, triangle will be will make a fragment. Fragment mean, means small small uh, part, small piece of a bitmap that then makes some kind of a triangle or line or point. There were there are three kind of primitive existing in OpenGL ES or WebGL. So one, the, the first thing is the point. Second thing is line. Third thing is triangle. Okay. Only three kind of primitive exist primitives are existing in OpenGL ES. So pragmatic shape. Therefore, pragmatic shape of program fragment must be one of them, so point or line or triangle. And 
the pregnant will be processed with the pregnant shader. Pregnant shader decided the 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 each pixel color or and color and some other at attribute for each pixel. Then, then that data is sent it to per pregnant operation. In pop fragment operation, there are so various kind of testing, the clipping or that kind of thing is executed, and then result is sent into frame buffer. Frame buffer will be displayed onto onto display device. That is very basic flow of OpenGLS 2.0 pipeline. I will explain again. Okay, let's see this with 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 picture. Let's see the what is happened in. Graphics pipeline. Okay, the vertex is sent from CPU. I think it does a vertex was stored in the CPU memory, and then it is sent it into the GPU memory, the vertex buffer or vertex object or anything. So it is stored into vertex memory, and then, then, and then, vertex shader change its coordinate or attributes of each vertex. You can see that you can see that the, the location of pointers are changed. The vertex shader main role of vertex shader is decide the location of vertex. And then the primitive assembly primitive assembly then line or triangle is is made. So 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 these two vertex made line primitive and then the, this these three vertex um makes the triangle one triangles and then rasterization then it makes some kind of a bitmap bitmap there are there are, we can say that there are two kind two fragments one is line and one is triangle and and the end point they they have some kind of a the attribute the vertex attributes is stored as a as an input of a fragment and then the fragment uh, the after rasterization the fragment input of fragment shader does not have the color of each pixel it just only have coverage coverage I will explain later what is coverage what what it means. Okay, sorry, coverage. Yeah, and then, and then, pregnant shader finally decided the pixel of each, the color of each pixels. So, normally, the the it is interpolated. The from red to yellow, the gradation is occurred in this in this pregnant shader. So, if we decide the the end point color. Then automatically interpolation is occurred in pregnant shader. For example, in triangle, the green color, cyan color, and blue color is decided, and then automatically internal pixels are interpolated. Okay. So and then in this diagram there is no per pregnant operation, but after per pregnant op operation, and then it goes to frame buffer. Frame buffer. There is a two kind of shader, vertex shader and pregnant shader. Shader means kind of a program. So we should send the program to GPU. The one is vertex shader, second thing is pregnant shader. In case of OpenGL 3.0, there are another shader. The computing shader is exist in OpenGL 3.0 pipeline. We send and we need to program with shading language okay so vertex shader look like this so it, it is block diagram of vertex shader and pregnant shader vertex shader use use vertex attributes and uniforms sampler it means it is kind of texture image as a input okay attribute uniform sampler is input data and output is uh, output is varying variables and GL position, GL front facing, GL point size is generated by vertex shader. 
and it goes to into fragment shade as an input so bearing and gl position also we can we can use uh, the uniform input and texture input and final uh, output of premium shader is gl prep color it means if it is line that we can decide the color of end point of line and we can we can decide the the, the color of vertex in triangle and then and then final stage is the, the inside of the triangle and inside of line the pixel color is automatically def defined by interpolation okay so we should understand that the vertex shader and frame shader execute is is program in parallel so so for example if there are there is a 1000 vertex and the GPU has 10 vertex shader. Each vertex shader processor sh sh uh, divide uh, the vertex into the 100 the vertexes and then process it. Okay, so each vertex processor have different vertex. So naturally, so the, the attribute value is different. Same as names so is uniform value is uniform input common variable in all 10 vertex shader processor so th therefore the bearing output is depend on on vertex each vertex have a different varying output so the varying output is used as e for each fragment and each vertex and each vertex has different gl position and gl front fainting and gl point size value and then it is used as an input of pregnant shader they decide the pregnant color then the each every pixel sh can get calculate the color of each pixel's bitmap okay i will explain the, the per pregnant operation okay if after the pregnant shader then pixel ownership test the pixel ownership test is who owned this pixel so and then seizure test a seizure test is checking if we we turn on the seizure seizuring status for example i want to display this part only we call it it is seizure okay and then stencil is same very similar to seizuring but is stencil is stencil defines the which area is displayed or not by pixel okay and depth test is sometimes we need to draw something with for example i draw something and then i draw circle if a circle is in front of camera then circle should be displayed it, for example i have mouse i have mouse if mouse is in front of a near the camera then paper then mouse will be appears but in opposite mouse is behind the, the paper in a view of a camera then mouse should be disappeared so that is depth test uh, the the pipeline is executed executed every the execution of a draw command and then each step of drawing there is a, some kind of result will be up generated and then we should blend blending means mixture we should mix this this result into frame buffer so that is blending we will learn how to control it and what is blending in later so don't worry about that and dithering dithering is kind of very special uh, image processing to display on the limited resource of uh, a bit, bit depth so but currently dithering is not dithering is not widely used i will explain the what is dithering but i will not make some example of dithering okay and then the result will be sent into frame bubble okay that is purple remote operation okay i explained the, the the pipeline shortly but I, I think uh, you cannot understand well. It is so natural. Okay, don't worry about that. Okay, thank you. 
please go to tutorial one. It will be very exciting.